everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I hope you will hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today we're gonna to be using Dollar Tree Supplies to create a really cute snowflake wreath using some of their Christmas trees. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so like I said, we're gonna be using Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree. I have six of these in the uh, regular evergreen color, but they do have white ones, so if you want yours to really look like a snowflake, uh, you can get the white Christmas trees that Dollar Tree has. I'm also gonna be using the wire from Dollar Tree, so they come in a pack like this, sort of over in the automotive section and then I have some wire cutters, my hot glue and glue gun. And then I have some chalk paint and a foam paint brush because I'm gonna give mine a flocked look so it has more of that snowy touch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get all of my Christmas trees out here. There are pieces in here we're not going to need. So you definitely, of course, need this part, the, the evergreen part of your tree. You're not gonna need this bottom piece here so just pull that right off. Also, the stand, the plastic pieces that come for the stand, we're not gonna need those. We just need six of these topper parts here. And now we're gonna work on attaching our branches together. So they're basically going to go in groups of two and you're gonna flip them around so that you have both of the metal pieces touching in the middle. So you have two of the sprouts coming out. And so we have three sets of those to do. And I'm gonna use a combination of my wire and my hot glue to make sure these all get attached really securely in the middle. Now here's the center. I just wrapped the wire around and around. Um, kind of went one way and then came back again, so it was double wrapped. And then I squeezed some hot glue in between there on the front and on the back just for good measure. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other two sets. And now we have our three bunches all wrapped up in the middle and ready for the next step. We're gonna sort of place these in a snowflake or star pattern like this, just stack them on top of each other. And I'm gonna use my wire and hot glue to secure the middle, just like I did with these, but we're gonna be wrapping a lot more to secure this all so it stays in place. So here it is, all secure. The middle is definitely strong and nothing's moving around now. And what I'm gonna do is fluff all of my branches out and then I'm gonna use my white chalk paint and a foam paintbrush to sort of add some frost to the branches, give it more of a snowy look. So here it is all fluffed up. It looks so much better all full now. I just kind of fluffed out. You don't really want to fluff up because then you'll have some bare spots. So if you lay these down and just kind of pull them out, you'll get more of that full wreath look. Now what I don't like here are, these are the tops of the trees. They're way too long. So I'm gonna use my wire cutters to just trim those down. You could even just fold them over if you wanted uh, to give this more of a proportionate look.
All right, so the wreath is all put together. Now we need to do some embellishing and cover up the middle here. So I have some items from Dollar Tree I might use. These are some stems that have cotton and berries and some pine cones on them. I also just have a stem of berries, a little bag of pine cones, some jute, and then this is buffalo check ribbon from Walmart. And I'm just gonna kinda see how this all comes together. I like to just sort of place things here and there, move them around, make it work, uh, just so everything looks nice. So I'll let you guys watch as I piece all of the embellishments together. All right, so I added the bow first. I just did a tutorial on this on a wreath video that I just posted. So I'll link that up in the iCards if you wanna go check it out and see how I created this bow because I go into detail in that video. I didn't wanna be repetitive and do another bow tutorial. I also have a tutorial of four different kinds of Christmas bows. So I'll link those both down in the description box below if you want to head over and see how to create your own bows. And now that I have this sort of as a centerpiece, I'm gonna build off of that with my Dollar Tree accessories. Thank you all so very much for joining me for today's tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up for me. And let me know down in the comments below, does it snow where you live? If you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right next to me. Below that are more great DIY tutorials you'll want to check out. You can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram for more great DIYs and inspiration. I'll have those linked down in the description box below. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.